Hello guys, uh, welcome to a new video and this is a part 2 of a video that I made uh, last week about uh, the covered call strategy and how actually you can uh, multiply your dividend income by using that strategy right so if you are completely new to covered call then I would uh, suggest that you first watch that video I'll put that link uh, down in the description and then you can come back and watch that so that would make more sense for you but if you are here just to see how you can roll out the covered call and uh, how you can save your trade and eventually make profit out of that then you can stick to it and i am gonna explain you the scenarios that you may be facing when doing this trade and how you can save that trade so if you are interested in that then please stick around we are gonna discuss all about that okay so i am in my screen now and this is what uh, we had discussed in our previous video right that uh, the covered call strategy and how you can multiply the dividend so i'm not gonna go too detail here i'm just gonna go to the the actual trade setup that we did right so we did uh, uh, set up this trade this particular trade as you can see right so we did uh, set up an apple call uh, and uh, with a 185 strike price it's a covered call and uh, we are, we did uh, i think that was the premium that we were getting was 370 dollar it may have changed now i have not checked but uh, this is what the premium that we were getting that day and uh, we set the expiration date for uh, 45 days i think we selected uh, april 5th uh, on last week and we were receiving this premium we also discussed uh, the max profit and max loss and uh, the max profit uh, for covered call if you know max profit would be uh, the premium that you receive so that's your max profit and your max loss is uh, always the the you because you are uh, in a covered call situation right you are obligated to sell your stock so that is your actual loss but uh, there is uh, technically um, as i had explained before right technically there is no loss in when you do covered call because uh, uh, the only thing that you're doing is you're receiving the premium so you have that 370 dollar with you and you are also going to sell the stock at a higher price right so basically let's say your cost basis uh, was uh, 180 dollar right for apple and uh, you have a strike price of 185 right so that's a five dollar difference right so that's basically you are making 500 dollar capital gain so that capital gain and the premium received that's basically your actual cash uh, profit that you are getting right the only why we call loss here is because you have to give away your shares so that's the uh, loss but you are actually selling your stock at a higher price okay so this is what uh, we we had already discussed i just wanted to give a quick overview here and now we can uh, move out to the actual uh, part that i wanted to discuss in this video which is uh, this is all uh, with a kind of a happy case scenario but what if your trade goes against you right or if it doesn't go according to your plan right what would you do what were the what would be the situations uh, in which uh, how you can actually um, kind of try to minimize or mitigate the risk or you can uh, do some uh, other option strategies that you can apply to save that trade so that's what we are going to discuss each of the scenario and how you can tackle each of them okay so the first case right which is profit so this is a very uh, case uh, where the trade is going uh, as you had expected and in those cases uh, i usually uh, suggest that you can uh, uh, take complete uh, profit uh, if it is uh, already like reached uh, 75 to 80 percent of your premium right so you, that's a good uh, point to take the profit because uh, you would have already gained uh, by the theta decay that you had uh, you wanted to achieve so by the time of like if there is like uh, just a uh, um, few days left in the expiry you would have already gained a lot of theta so that may not uh, give you that much opportunity after that point so it's a good point to take profit you can always go till the expiry but uh, that's the point that you need to evaluate that uh, risk versus reward that you can evaluate and take the profit 
so usually what i do right uh, uh, this is i use uh, option profit calculator right so in this one you can actually see uh, what you would be making at what time so let's say in this case uh, we had apple right so we do apple and uh, we were doing uh, i believe the yeah april 5th right so that's the trade and uh, uh, we have to so uh, april 5th and then uh, we were doing 185 right so that is 185 so now we are getting three uh, 22 dollar right in this one so it basically gives you a nice chart right that you can see here so let's say that uh, you open this trade on feb 28th right and uh, the stock kind of uh, uh, moved uh, really let's say it goes uh, it comes uh, maybe march 15th right and the stock is still hovering around like this kind of uh, this range right okay so it's all uh, it's kind of below your strike price which is 182 so it shows how much uh, money you would have made right so you would have already made if uh, remember the cost basis that it's assuming is 181 so the actual could be more than this but this is assuming that your cost basis is around 181 so including the premium and uh, the capital gain this is this much you would be making so you can decide uh, by looking at this chart itself right at what point you would be making what right so if you look at here closely right so 185 strike beyond this point you have kind of capped your max profit because covered call scenario this is your strike price and beyond that point your mm, uh, your total profit is capped and it says 700 dollar that is including your premium as i said premium plus that five dollar uh, in this case because 181 it's assuming the cost basis so 181 and 185 that's four dollar so that's 400 plus 322 right so that's what uh, your 700 close to 700 is what uh, your profit would be which is capped beyond that point right so this is a nice site that you can make use of it has other strategies and uh, i in my channel i have uh, created a lot of videos around other strategies and options so you can go and watch that and uh, see how you can make use of this uh, this site so this is a pretty uh, nice site to visually see at what point you would be making how much profit okay uh, going back to this one right so we covered the take profit one now about the loss right so let's say the trade uh, does not go according to your plan and uh, you have to you are in a situation that uh, the that particular uh, stock let's say in this case apple right that is kind of gone way out of the money and uh, you have to kind of uh, pay a lot of money now to buy back that contract right so one thing that you can do is you can take uh, that hundred percent of premium right whatever you collected three seventy dollar that's for you to keep plus you can allow assignment so allow assignment in this case means you allow your uh, shares to get called away at 185 which is higher than your cost basis right so that kind of uh, uh, one uh, thing that you can do uh, if it has gone way out of the money and uh, you do not want to kind of pay that much amount to buy back that contract you can let your shares go and make that whatever capital gain and premium that you are making right and you can move on to your next trade or you can wait till the market corrects again and the apple comes down right so it's not like a one-way street right it always has to come down so you can wait for that opportunity for it to come down and then place your next trade now the third point is the rolling out right so this is an interesting one and this is what uh, uh, you should do if you think that uh, it has gone up but you expect that that particular stock would come down again right so this is where you should consider rolling out right so when you say roll out so let's say uh, that the apple for example has gone to 
maybe 192 dollar right uh, you are seven days into the trade and the apple has really rallied up right so that 192 dollar is way out of the money because your strike price remember was 185 and it is 192 is way out of the money so now in this case you will have to pay a lot of uh, money to buy back that contract so instead of that what you can do is you can actually whatever amount that you have to pay to buy back that contract there is a way to make that money and adjust that money right so that's how that's what uh, rolling out a contract means so what you can do is you can uh, roll out further in the expiry so you can let's say you have 20 days left in the expiry you can move further by two weeks right so by moving further out two weeks and maybe you can along with that you can also roll up your uh, strike price so instead of 185 you move up your strike price to 190 and also roll out to two two weeks or maybe three weeks right so by moving out three weeks you're gonna make money and that money would be adjusted uh, for that uh, amount that you had to kind of a uh, pay to buy back that contract so overall it will be net event so you have more time now so what you did was essentially is you bought more time for you for the stock to kind of get corrected itself so let's say in another week apple again comes down and corrects little bit it goes down below your strike price you're gonna make uh, that money right so that you would be in a good position in going back here right on 75 percent if you see that you are making 75 percent or maybe 60 75 percent you can close the trade right so in that way what you did was uh, you kind of turned out your uh, losing trade to a winning trade right so that is a pretty nice way if you want to go more detail about uh, different situation and if you use a robin hood platform i have another video which i will uh, put link uh, down in the description you can go and watch that that i have explained uh, with one particular stock on how you can roll up roll out and there are different kind of uh, rolling situations right so i've discussed all those in detail in that video so you can watch that one that was it guys for this video i hope you liked it if you have not subscribed yet then please do so i make a lot of videos around option trading if you have any questions related to that then please uh, put your questions down in the description i do reply to all of them and i'll talk to you in my next video till then happy investing guys bye bye